On this week's We Here, grab your passport and check the expiration. Today we're sharing ways to make your next overseas trip a little bit easier. If you plan a trip overseas, the first thing you should do after you book your flight is check your passport expiration date. Because according to Murphy's Law, you'll never realize your passport is about to expire or that you need a visa for your trip until the very last minute as you're leaving for the airport. If you're in the predicament of needing your passport renewed at the 11th hour, check out itseasy.com, which can expedite your passport and visa process and help you get your paperwork within hours or days. The app even allows you to take your own document photo from your smartphone, saving you the trip to the drugstore to stand in front of the blank white screen. Today, we've all gotten good at selfies, so you'll be able to pick your favorite before digitally sending it in for processing. You can process your application on their easy-to-use website, or you can opt for more personalized assistance with their concierge service, which you'll want if you're looking at needing a passport within a very short time frame. One day, we'll all have our passports in our phones and never need to carry that little paper booklet again. De La Rue, the world's biggest passport producer and the company that prints British banknotes, recently reported that they are working on the technology that could store your passports on your smartphone. But they say it could be several more years before they are done with that technology. So for now, check out itseasy.com. Another worrisome detail about planning overseas travel is the need for a visa to certain countries. Lots of European countries do not require American visitors to obtain a visa for any stay under 90 days. But you should always consult the U.S. Department of State's website when you're planning a trip overseas. If you do need a visa, you can try applying for one on your own in person at the appropriate consulate. Or save your time and head directly to Visa HQ, a website that helps you obtain your visa online. Simply fill out their applications, mail them the documents requested, and wait for the visa to be shipped to you. I personally hate lines, so I think Visa HQ is well worth the fees. You can also visit their offices in New York City, Washington DC, Houston, Chicago, San Francisco, or LA to apply in person. Also consider using PassportsAndVisas.com, which is essentially the same service as Visa HQ. Plus, both services offer passport renewal services as well. Shoppers who are cost conscious can visit both sites to find the best price. That's it for this week's We Here. Check us out online at TravelSavvy.tv and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow our Twitter and Instagram pages. Travel Savvy, and see you next time.